So today we're going to deep dive into a topic that a lot of audio enthusiasts debate about immersive audio formats. If you're looking to upgrade your existing home theater setup or you just want to understand what the hype is all about, you've probably heard of Dolby Atmos, DTSX or maybe even Oro 3D. But what is the real difference between all of these three formats? Which one is actually better? and which one should you go for. Now we're going to break down their foundational principles, their unique selling points, talk about their popularity, and finally give you a lowdown on perceived audio quality and overall listening experience. So let's get started. So first we're going to talk about the foundational principles of these technologies, how they work, because they are fundamentally different from each other. So we're going to tackle them in chronological order as they were released. So let's start with Oro 3D, which was actually the first immersive technology out there. Now this was launched back in 2006. Oro 3D pioneered multi-layer channel-based approach. Instead of primarily focusing on objects, it focused on building height layers on top of the traditional 5.1 and the 7.1 setups. So you'll have speakers at your ear level, a little above that and another layer above that. And then finally, sometimes you also have the voice of God, which is directly placed above you for the ultimate immersive experience. Now, Oro 3D excels at creating a hemispherical sound field. It focuses on ambience rather than discrete channels so that you have complete immersion and you feel as if you're in the scene itself. Next in line, we have Dolby Atmos, which was introduced in 2012. This pioneered the concept of object-based sounds. It's basically an object that you place in a 3D environment and however the object moves in space, depending on the speaker setup, which is recommended or fixed by Dolby, those channels will play. So let's say an object is coming at you from front to back. So Dolby Atmos will play the sound first on the front speakers and then take it to the back. So this is basically trying to make it as real as possible based on the setup that is fixed. So in this type of setup, you get pinpoint accuracy as to where the sound is coming from in a 3D space and you get the dome sound effect, which can be precisely mapped to your own. And then finally, we have the DTSX format. Now this came in 2015, like Dolby Atmos, this is also object -based sound, but it takes it a step further. Now with Dolby Atmos, uh, the positions of the speakers are fixed. With DTSX, on the other hand, the positions can't vary. Whatever speaker configuration you have, DTSX is meant to adapt to your speaker setup and then create that sound based on your setup. So in short, it pioneered unrestricted speaker placement. Its core strength is incredible flexibility when you compare it to Dolby Atmos format. It can adapt to pretty much any symmetrical speaker layout, making it more forgiving than fixed base setups such as the Dolby Atmos. Now, beyond their core tech, each format has its own killer features. Oro 3D's USP is all about the ambience and enveloping the listener into that entire atmosphere. So it makes you feel as if you're in an actual venue or a grand hall in the environment that you're actually seeing. The Oromatic 3D up mixer is praised by music lovers also a lot and it gives you that complete immersion. For Dolby Atmos, its USP is pinpoint accuracy and 3D placement of the sound and dynamic movement of the sound in 3D. So when a helicopter tracks its path in the scene going above you and disappearing, it tracks its path and you can listen to that effect as well. Its Dolby surround up mixer is also highly capable and it will give you that immersive feel. DTSX unique selling point is unparalleled flexibility and the robust upmixing. The Neural X upmixer is highly praised, especially content which doesn't have immersive formats or maybe a format which is 2.1 or 5.1. It upmixes often a little bit, maybe too aggressively, and it gives you that 3D sound experience that you look for. If you have a large library of legacy content, then DTSX will do the best job in terms of upmixing that content into 3D space. Now let's talk about market dominance because ultimately content is king. Now with the Oro 3D content is extremely limited when you talk in terms of home cinematic content. There isn't much to be honest. And uh, 
Auro 3D is actually meant to be a commercial concept rather than a home cinematic experience. Auro 3D tracks are honestly quite rare and difficult to come by. That being said, its upmixer is exceptional and it bridges the gap between what content has to offer and what the Auro 3D upmixer can do. Now, when it comes to popularity, the undisputed champion over here is Dolby Atmos. Pretty much everyone has heard of Dolby Atmos, whether it's Netflix, Disney, Prime, Dolby Atmos is just everywhere. It's even made its presence in video game titles, both in PC and consoles alike. And it set a standard for immersive audio in the entire space. DTSX, on the other hand, is definitely growing. It is there. It's there in much less titles than Dolby Atmos, but it's growing, especially when you see IMAX enhanced content like on Disney Plus. So you'll have DTSX with IMAX. And having said that, it's still playing catch up to Dolby Atmos, but it is is there. When it comes to TV and uh, streaming device uh, native support, Dolby Atmos is more supported than DTSX. So again, you know, it's playing catch up to Dolby Atmos over here. Perceived sound quality and immersion. Now this is where it gets subjective. Everyone has their own uh, viewpoint, but here is mine. So Auro 3D, if you have the speaker set up for Auro 3D or if you've experienced Auro 3D, it is the best in the business. You have honestly too many speakers to be setting up auro 3d in your own home so in most cases it cannot be done but if you do experience auro 3d it is unparalleled it is the best in the business i would say and then comes dolby atmos and dtsx dolby atmos and dtsx are pretty much i would say in par with each other but they do function differently dtsx is all about expanding your field the sound field it's about giving you spaciousness. But Dolby Atmos, on the other hand, is about giving you precision exactly where the sound is coming from. So Dolby Atmos is not forgiving when it comes to speaker layout. DTSX, on the other hand, is forgiving. It will adjust to the speaker layout that you have and then adjust the sound accordingly. The up mixer for DTSX, the Neural X, is better than the Dolby Atmos up mixer. So there it does a better job. So if you have legacy content and you want to up mix, then Neural X is better, I would say, in terms of up mixing in Dolby Atmos. Hopefully this breakdown has given you a clearer picture to make an informed decision. Which format do you prefer and why? Let me know in the comment section below.